Happy New Year, guys. Welcome to 2021. Hopefully not a dumpster fire of a year. And I am excited to announce that language learning is back on this channel for this year. Last year was kind of quiet. I kind of took a little hiatus after 2019. I spent the year learning Dutch. And 2020, to be honest, obviously a lot went on. I had other projects and I actually devoted most of that year to memorizing a different kind of language, numbers. You'll learn about that later, that's for another video. But for now, we're talking about language. And I'm excited to announce that this year, again, I'll be partnering with Drops, the Drops app, which I use to help myself get to basic conversational fluency in Dutch. So you can expect a lot more content coming up on how I learn languages, tips to learn languages, things I try to avoid and the like. Now today's exciting because it's the first of the year. Drops always has this awesome, really fun challenge for 90 days. It's called 90 Days with Drops Challenge. I did this back in 2019 with Dutch where I tried to learn all the words on the app in Dutch, it was about 2,500 words, in the 90 days. I was successful, it was a good time, I used my memory techniques, I was also very exhausted by the end of it. But I plan on participating again in this 90 day challenge to kind of re-immerse myself in the Dutch that I had learned. Not that I've forgotten it, but I have put it to the side. I wanna get back into it and I wanna kind of continue on my journey. Because being fluent never ends. When are you actually fluent, right? It's hard to measure that, right? Depends on what you mean by fluency. To me, I don't think I'm quite there yet. I'd like to be able to take my conversations further. I feel very confident in where I've come, but there's a lot more that I'd like to accomplish with it. So for these 90 days, and I encourage you guys to join along with me and do the challenge for 90 days, try to play five minutes, just five minutes on this Drops app in a language of your choice and learn some new words, learn some new vocabulary in that target language that you've always wanted to learn for 90 days. Be as consistent as you can over those 90 days. No missed days, that's key. And see what you get out of it by the end of the 90 days. Now, a little sneak peek, I shouldn't be saying this, but while I'm gonna be maintaining my Dutch through this 90 day challenge again, I'm also actually secretly gonna be learning a new language. And I can't quite announce it yet, but if you know me, you probably have an idea what it's gonna be. I'm not gonna say when, but eventually I'll announce it and uh, it's gonna be super interesting. The whole project I have lined up for the later half of the year related to that language is gonna be super exciting and also another really meaningful thing for me in my life. So I'm excited about that. Now, I just don't wanna announce a challenge and dump it on you guys and then leave you dry and do your thing. No, I wanna give you some tips. That's what this channel is all about. So one of the things I love about the Drops app, a lot of people ask me, well, do you like learning languages with an app? Will Drops make you fluent? And the answer is no, not really, but it will help. And here's how. All right, so for me, I really believe that learning a language quickly and efficiently comes with these three foundational C's. The first C is core vocabulary. I think to really dive into a language and really get the quickest bang for your buck, is to learn a large set of vocabulary from the start. Now, I'll be the first to say that learning a language and becoming conversationally fluent is not entirely memorizing vocab. That's of course absurd. You can't get by just having memorized, say, a thousand words. It'll help if you know a thousand words, you'll be able to pick up pieces and kind of get a gist of what's being said or written or whatnot. But I do think a great place to start is with learning vocab. You gotta know the words to speak the language, right? You gotta know phrases, you gotta know words. There's no way around it. The second C is consistency. And I think this might actually be the most important, at least for me. If I don't consistently practice or work on my language learning, I don't get very far. And what I love about the Drops app is that it's so easy to just open up, play your five minutes. It's kind of like a gamified experience and then you're done for the day. Now, I don't think that just playing five minutes a day will get you to your goal, but that's not the point here. The point is to be consistent because I think if you build this habit of constantly working and consistently working on your language learning every day, you'll eventually get to a point where you maybe do that, but you also say, you know what? I've come this far. Maybe I wanna pick up a grammar book uh, or maybe I want to work with a tutor just for an extra half hour or a week, something like that. And those incremental kind of decisions which build off of your consistency behavior with the app, that is what leads to long-term language learning. So in a way, the app is kind of a little habit hacker to get you started, a little amuse-bouche. Yes, an amuse-bouche. The 
third C is confidence. And that can mean a lot of things. Confidence in how you speak, confidence in knowing what you know, or just confidence in kind of barreling yourself forward in this language learning process. And I think when you learn these amount of words and you do have the consistency, that kind of snowballs into the confidence that you need to say, hey, I'm actually making progress in this language I'm gonna keep going. And then that feeds itself, you get more confidence, you become more consistent, you learn more vocab, and it's just kind of this ever building snowball effect, which eventually will lead you to a position where you say, hey, I actually know a lot of this language and I can maybe even take it to the next level. I feel confident in doing that. And finally, this is kind of like a fourth C, is challenge. I think to really push yourself and to make progress in some kind of goal you have, there needs to be a little bit of a challenge, something to hold you accountable, right? If you find it too easy, you're probably not gonna be motivated to keep doing it. If it's too hard, then you're probably gonna get bored of it or have tremendous anxiety and then you won't even get started or you'll stop before you've even begun. So having a good, kind of friendly, little nudge of a challenge, I think is great to kind of helping you learn a language. In my position here, the challenge obviously is the 90 day challenge, but also I want to be able to speak fluently with my mother. That, that was goal number one. And that's what keeps driving me. That's my motivation. And it keeps challenging me because my mom can speak Dutch. You know, she's very understanding. She'll speak slowly to me. She'll, she'll kind of allow for my mistakes and things like that. But I don't want that. I want her to speak as if I was just another native, someone in her family who speaks the language with her, who she grew up with, I guess. We did grow up together. That's weird to think. All right, so to recap, the three foundational C's to effective and rapid language learning are core vocab, consistency, and confidence. And then that extra little thing, challenge. If you can incorporate that into your day-to-day -day kind of language learning process, whatever that may be, you're gonna be on your way to actually making progress in learning this language. And many of us know we've spent a lot of time learning languages without actually learning language. Think high school French or Spanish. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's it for this video. I do want to mention that if you do want to opt into this challenge through the duration of the challenge, the 90 days, if you use the discount code in the description below, you'll get 50% off of the app which I think is a steal. I'll also be giving away one free membership to the person who comments in the description one of the most creative ways that they learned a word in a language. It can be anything. I just wanna see what you guys come up with, what you've used in the past, and whichever one I find the most amusing slash interesting slash memorable, we'll get that free Drops app. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Please join in the challenge. I love sharing challenges with other people. It makes the whole process a lot more fun. We can hold each other accountable. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.